Hi everyone, come to show you another journal I've been working on. Uh, this one is a kit from the Ephemeris Vintage Garden Club called Forget Me Not. Beautiful pastel -y colours which I like to work with. Uh, it's an 8x5. It's just one of the images from the kit on the cover. And the spine. My attempt at a dangle. Just got a bird. Um, this one says live your dream and then a padlock and a key and some lovely wee pearlies in the colours. And then the back of the book I've used an image as well. So it's got two sign-in signatures. I think it's about 60 pages. An 8x5. Just on the inside I liked um, just the white like it was so I left it there. I've used my Martha Stewart Doherty punch. And my homemade doilies again and ink them all up. It's one of the tags out of the collection. I was lucky enough to find this beautiful bird paper clip. Colours are very pretty. Um, on the edge, just so I've used my uh, Martha Stewart doily punch here just to sort of make the lace look like lace and edged it with a bit of my lovely tumble glass distress ink. A lovely lady of one of the groups I'm in, Kay, gave me some lovely uh, die cuts and she left the negative space in. So I've used the negative space as a stencil. It's quite pretty throughout. Glassing bag with a note card from the collection. So it's all birds and the forget me not flowers and the eggs. A very pretty kit. And the doily. There's some music paper here and I've glued this note paper down and one of the lovely tags. I've just back them in white with a distress ink. Beautiful image of the bird. Still a smaller page. Um, this one was out of a freebie from a Femmeris Vintage Garden some time ago. Another tag. And this one um, it's called tracing paper we buy here it's, I suppose it's like vellum, I'm, I'm not sure but I've printed on it, it's come up absolutely beautiful I just left it sitting for half an hour so it dried right through I was very pleased with it and my edges, fancy edges, more of the stenciling pages are beautiful, I just left them as is but you can um, write on them or stick post-it notes or anything you like. It's just a wee tuck spot down here. It's a side pocket. I've used the eggs and layered them up out of the kit. Um, this one was out of a freebie kit and these are out of a different collection. Just added a few extras in there. And writing pages middle page I've just put the um, oops, the birds dangling so they look quite cute and appropriate and stenciling and the wee side pocket of the bird the tumble glass um, distress ink seem to match in really well with these colours and the doily the writing pages. It's the uh, back of the tracing paper. And it's the right side. It's lovely and bright. And the short page. Put some music paper. It's just a wee um, tuck spot there. Just white on the back, linked up. Holds it nicely. And on the other side. Back the glassing bag. I just cut a wee uh, homemade doily in half there and used one of the little freebies of the birds. Large tags I like making. That's the first signature. 
And the second signature I use the envelope from the kit and I just put a, a hinge through and another envelope on the back. I just made that by uh, putting a slit in the side of the envelope and gluing the hinge in and closing it off. So it opens and it's usable. Writing paper, my pocket, my stenciling at the top. It's a very pretty kit, this one. Oops, put the glassing bag at the top this time. Just a journaling card in there. Fancy page. Things properly. They don't slide in and out very good when you're trying to hold them up high, sorry. They're just the wee tags off the collection. Something a wee bit different with them. Journaling pages. And the birds in the centre again. A new tag from the collection. It's a very usable journal, this one. Lots of uh, writing space. And the tuck spot I made out of the birds. And the same on the back. More stenciling, another half of the glassing bag, the egg journaling spot this time. I found these colours very calming and soothing to work with, very relaxing. And the pocket with the tin again. And the last page and the back of the second envelope left this lovely and white which just sort of contrasted so well. Um, I've used my Gillettos on the seam binding but very very lightly and included white on the edge. So that's my wee journal. I hope you all like it and enjoyed watching it. Um, I have noticed that I've been getting a few more subbies so I want to thank everyone very very much and just let you know that uh, once I hit the 500, I am doing a giveaway, so if you look out for that. Thank you very much, everyone.